Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video is all gonna be about hitting out the long, thick rough. I'm gonna share with you three simple tips to make sure you come out of that lie, whatever the conditions. Stay tuned to find out more. As mentioned, today's video is all gonna be about hitting out the rough. So of course I haven't found myself here, you know, I never hit it in this stuff. Um, but I found myself in some real thick, horrible lie out on our academy course. Uh, and I wanna talk you through some options if you do you find yourself in this rough. I mean, it is really long, really thick, uh, doesn't get cut very much. Uh, it's, it's more offline, so you shouldn't be hitting it in here. But if you do find yourself in, in this sort of lie, you know, and if you watched the Ryder Cup um, from Paris National, you'll have seen the players hitting out some real thick, juicy, long stuff. If you'll have watched uh, some of the Lynx golf then after that at the Alfred Dunhill and other courses, you'll have seen the players, you know, having to cope with these styles of lies. And you may well get some of those in certain places at your golf club. So the first thing here, the, the flag is actually a little bit hidden on this one. I just had to find myself, you know, the worst place on the golf course, which I thought was here. The flag's over this tree, but my play is to try and hit it to the left, just to the left of that bunker. But what I have got in front of me is water where these reeds are. So the first play is, you know, if the lie really isn't good enough, we may just have to get the ball back out here and then play on for our next one. What I'm gonna try and do is actually venture that ball that little bit further and see if I can get the ball over the water to dry land the other side. I don't think I can be going towards that flag. So you've gotta be realistic, depending on the lie, the strength that, uh, that you've got, and how far you think you can actually budge and move that golf ball. But I'm gonna share with you a couple of tips that you can do at setup and in the swing to try and get less grass, which is the key part here, trapped between the club and the ball. So we're trying to create a digging, more descending blow where we get a cleaner strike. Of course, we're not definitely, we're not gonna get the ball first. We are gonna be hitting through this rough, but there's things we can do to help it. So I'm just gonna drop the ball into this sort of, oh God, I wish I'd done that better. Drop the ball into that line. It's sat right down in the grass there. The first thing is, is try and take a more lofted golf club when possible. So take a more lofted golf club, even if that means you're coming up short. Now on this one, in this lie, it might be more sensible going out here, but of course I'm gonna go and give it a go for you to get over that water to the other side. So I have taken a pitching wedge, whereas if I was going to here, I'd perhaps take more of my lob wedge. I want something with a bit of loft on, but there's a couple other things I'm trying to do. So I would, for this, try and create more of a V-shaped swing. So for me, it's very similar to when I'm playing, perhaps in a, a plugged bunker, uh, where the ball is nestled down into the sand or a bare lie. I'm trying to create what I'd class as more of a V-shaped swing, more of an up and down movement rather than a wide swing. So I'm trying to get my wrists to cock upwards a little bit sooner. And there's a couple of things I can do to help that. So uh, from this lie here, I'd grip a little bit further down the handle, by gripping a little further down the handle, I'm gonna tilt over a touch more from my hips. So I've gripped lower and tilted as one part. I'm gonna also, within that grip, a little bit harder, because when you do hit this rough, it's gonna grab the club, which can turn the club. And the worst thing we wanna do is close that club face and hit it along the ground, ground low and left. So we're taking that more lofted golf club and we are gonna grip a little bit firmer. The change here was more tilts forwards from my hips because I've gripped that little bit lower. And what I'm trying to do is set a little bit more pressure onto my lead leg. So I'm really trying to feel a good 70, 80% of my pressure over onto my front foot. And I'm within the swing, once I get that set up correct, I'm just trying to make this earlier wrist set here in the back swing. So it was gripping lower to tilt more forwards from my hips, set more pressure onto my lead leg, and then within the swing itself, it's trying to get this wrist cock here. So it's a real wrist cock on the back swing. We've just got to make sure there is a lot of positivity, a lot of acceleration to dig through this rough. Let me see if I can give it a go. So ball back in my stance. 
tilt a little bit further over from my hips. I'm gripping that a little bit lower, setting that pressure more onto my front foot. Early wrist cock and let's hit it hard. Now that was a particularly juicy, thick lie that really snagged that club up. I don't think I could have got that ball much further than that. So that's really a, the option when the lie is that bad that we'd actually come out short and play on with our next one. That was particularly horrible. Let me see if I can do one more there. So that's still nestled down there, but nowhere near as bad as the last lie. I think I could propel this ball that bit further that we really need. So a little lower down the handle to tilt, grip firmer. Pressure onto that front foot, onto that lead leg. I'm having that early wrist cock. It creates that more up and down digging type of swing. There we go. So it's very much a choppy movement and I've got that ball out to a bit left of the bunker so I'm now chipping onto the green from over the water there. Real digging type of action you'll see in a thick chunk of grass come out. It does look like there's a reduced follow through. It's not me trying to stop, it's just the club grabbing the club. You need to create lots of acceleration to make sure that we're getting that momentum, we're getting that ball out. But if you can get that set up correct, so the key fundamentals, that little lower down the handle to tilt, a little bit more pressure onto your lead leg, and in the swing, we're trying to create this V-shaped swing, this earlier wrist cock. It's really gonna help you create this digging action that you need to get the ball out of this thick, juicy rough. If you have enjoyed the content of the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel as well. There's at least two instructional videos a week that are definitely gonna help your game. It's great to get some feedback from you guys. Any videos you'd like me to film, make sure you comment below. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.